A growing number of artists, furniture makers, and even clothiers are using mushrooms to make stuff. And a big provider of the material for this is a New York-based company called Ecovative. It's a biomaterials organization that's received millions of dollars in grant money from the U.S. government, in addition to private funds from private investors. It's worked on everything from building materials to packaging, all based on using part of the mushroom. When it comes to shipping materials, it's not always the perfect substitute for styrofoam or other plastics. Ecovative's original mycelium foam could be more expensive to use than traditional materials for lightweight packages. But its makers say it is better for the environment and it's changing the way people think about mushrooms. Since the 1950s, humans have produced over 9 billion tons of plastic. Most of that is ending up in landfills and could take centuries to decompose. A miracle material found in nature could be the key to reducing plastic waste. It's called mycelium, and it comes from mushrooms. Mycelium is like the root structure of a mushroom. You're used to seeing a mushroom above ground. Uh, mycelium is like the roots beneath it. But no one had ever tried to use them to make materials. Eben Bayer is the CEO of Ecovative, a company that has developed a way to grow mycelium into specific shapes and sizes. They start by taking organic plant waste and mixing it with mycelium cells, which act as a sort of natural glue. The mycelium grows through and around those particles, and it binds them together, and you've got a grown product. Ecovative's mycelium products provide a natural alternative to packaging materials made out of plastic and styrofoam. But at the end of its useful life, you can actually break it up and you can put it in your own garden. So it's, it's a nutrient, not a pollutant. Ecovative wants to take mycelium to the next level. Our current technical focus is developing the next generation of mycelium materials, from cell scaffolding uh, to leather-like materials, to even meat replacements. AKA mycelium bacon, which is still in its testing phases. The company thinks mycelium could also play a major role in construction and even in regenerative medicine. It really has boundless possibilities and it comes from its ability to move from the micro scale to the macro scale. 